Liam Smith versus Hassan Monquinho. Who do y'all think is going to win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing. And please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd uh, really appreciate it. And by the way, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing Hassan's name. I think I'm getting it right though. Monquinho. Because somebody was complaining. Somebody commented on the previous video I made talking about these fights. Talking about how Americans can't pronounce any foreign names. <laughs> um... I try my best. I try my best. Uh, yeah, I try my best to pronounce the name. So if you don't like it, I apologize. But I'm still going to make the video. Anyway, Smith versus Monquinho, if you guys don't know, uh, it's got for 12 rounds in the junior middleweight division to take place uh, this coming weekend, this Saturday on the uh, 3rd of September. September 3, 2022, uh, which will be taking place over at the uh, Echo Arena, which is now known as the mns bank arena in liverpool in the uk um to be shown live on sky sports for the uk fight fans and to be shown live over here in the us on fight tv so tune into fight tv if you want to see it uh, i think it's ten dollars if you want to see this event here in in the us just fyi so anyway liam smith coming off a, a very good win against jesse vargas back in april i was there live in person i witnessed that fight live in person in the undercard of the uh taylor versus uh, serrano fight at the garden it was an amazing event man and the crowd the, the the irish fans that were there to support katie taylor they were all behind liam smith heck i was behind liam smith um <laughs> i was rooting for him it was an amazing crowd man it was insane it was a very good fight as well liam smith looked very good in that fight against jesse vargas at least seeing it live in person and now here he is uh signing with boxer promotions leaving matchroom and uh, for his fight first fight under boxer and uh, fight on sky sports um under boxer uh he'll be fighting hassan monquinho a 27-year-old fighter from Tanzania. 20 wins, 2 losses, 14 wins coming by way of knockout or TKO. Monquinho has come with a very good win against Julius Ndongo. You can watch that fight here on YouTube if you want. Um, it, <laughs> I, I, I watched the fight against um, Sam Eggington years ago, 4 years ago. He hasn't lost a fight, by the way, since 2017. And uh, he fought Sam Eggington back in 2018, pulled off the big win in 2 rounds. He was able to hurt Sam Eggington, and he can be a little wild, and he's still a little wild in my opinion. He's more composed now, though. I feel like, you know, I feel like he's definitely gained more a lot more experience, and he's more, um, you know, composed with his uh, punches, and he picks his shots better compared to a few years ago. Uh, but he can still get a little wild. There was a moment when Indongo was down, uh, and Monkino just kept swinging. Man, the dude needs to be needs to be careful. <laughs> when to punch because he just he can't help but skip swing and he can punch the dude has power uh Monquinho. i think he definitely has power and come fight night against liam smith styles make fights it, this will make for a very entertaining fight i think Monquinho will be game i think he'll be in there and can he it's just a matter of if he can land something clean on liam smith liam smith will be right there in front of him liam smith uh, has a very good tight guard but liam smith is a very good inside fighter very good inside fighter and you know he has more experience he's been in there against better opposition um i gotta go with liam smith in this one i think monquinho will try to land if then can you land something clean then things will get interesting i think he might be able to hurt liam smith but that's only if liam smith gets careless uh and i, I don't think he i think liam smith got this i don't know i was impressed with his last fight against jesse vargas so maybe i'm a little biased because i was there live in person um but I think Liam Smith got this. I think, I think Monquinho will get frustrated, um, and uh, I see Liam Smith breaking him apart and uh, stopping him in the mid to late rounds. Uh, well, in the second half, I should say. Um, but it will be interesting if uh, Monquinho can definitely land something. He he definitely needs to go to the body early um, if he wants to uh, pull off the big upset, but. I don't think so, man. I think he's he's more of a headhunter, Monquinho. But but we'll see. We'll see. He's definitely improved since the uh, Eggington days. But, uh, you know, looking forward to seeing how he'll do against a former world champion like Liam Smith. It's definitely the top, the biggest fight of Monquinho's career. Um, it's his moment. This is his chance to show the world what he's made of and what he can bring to the table. Like I said, he hasn't lost a fight since 2017. So who knows? Maybe he might pull it off this time.
he might pull it off uh you know against Liam Smith and he hopefully will lead to bigger better fights for Mankinio but I think there's still there's still a lot of fight left in Liam Smith and I think he'll he'll pull it off and win in front of it plus he has the hometown hometown advantage too so we'll see we'll see so I'm, I'm saying will Liam Smith um breaking apart Mankinio uh stopping him I'll say round number eight that's 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 my guess Round number eight. It's definitely going to be in the second half. I'll be shocked if it's in the first half. But he definitely needs to be careful off those uh, wide swinging punches of Mankinio. Because one of the, if one of those lands, whew, it'll be interesting to see how Liam Smith would take them. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.